Are you being polite or are you being manipulative? That was a question that I got this week in response to a weekly blog post called Workplace Conversation Starters. Hello everyone, I'm Jen Mueller, America's expert talker and the CEO of Talk Sporty to Me. And this is a little how-to when it comes to using Talk Sporty to Me. Because this Twitter follower of mine actually got me thinking about some pretty good points this week. He asked a simple question. If you're trying to engage somebody in a sports conversation, but you're not necessarily a sports fan, are you just manipulating the situation to get what you want, or are you actually being polite? After thinking about that question, I responded and said, you know what, I think that if you are genuinely interested in what that person has to say, you're being polite. And using sports as an entry point just helps you find a connection. Because some people really struggle with what to say and they wonder what would make good small talk or good chit chat because so much of it that's out there, the weather, politics, religion, money, sex, it just doesn't work. Sports works. Think about this little video as kind of the how to use sports and how to use talk sporty to me to your advantage. Because the other comment that this Twitter follower pointed out is that it seems like I'm just using sports to help women get up to speed with men. Not true at all. There's a lot of people who could use some help when it comes to talking sports and being smart about it and using it to their advantage at work. Think about sports conversations as just one more business tool because of the number of things that can help you accomplish. Number one, it appeals to a large group of people. The greater your appeal, the more your influence, the more leverage you have, and the more opportunities you get. Simple as that. Sports is also one of those things that is DVR proof. There used to be a time where you could watch the same TV show as all of your coworkers and you'd go and talk about it the next day. Unfortunately, with DVRs now, everybody tapes their shows and watches them at later dates. So what are you supposed to talk about when you do go to the office? It's also something that changes every day. So you have fresh material every single day, particularly right now during baseball season where there is at least, I don't know, two or three games a night that you could talk about the next day at work. And it helps to bridge some very common communication barriers that happen at work. It helps you determine, you know, how you should be relating to the men and the women in your office. And if you want more information about that, well, you need to go to the program called What Do I Say on my website. I say all of this to help you understand that sports is a very valuable tool. It's not about manipulating the situation. It's about getting to know the people that you work with. It's not about forcing women to talk about what men want to talk about. It's getting everybody up to speed on a safe subject that appeals to a large group of people. So if you're wondering if Talk Sporty is for you or if you could benefit, why don't you check out the website? It's TalkSportyToMe.com. There are weekly blog posts like the workplace conversation starters that I mentioned. There you're going to find a few of the hot topics, like four or five for the week. Links to click on if you want more information, but also questions to ask to get the ball rolling at work. You're not trying to talk about sports for hours and hours at a time. Honestly, that's my job. I'm the sports broadcaster. You have real work to be doing. I'm just trying to make it easier for you to strike up conversations with people that you don't know as well as your best friend. If you have questions, comments, well, why don't you put them on Twitter, Facebook, or at the end of this blog post, or you can email me, jen at talksportytome.com.